Hi, my name is Laurieann Gibson, and I'm a choreographer, a dancer, a creative director, and an artist. As a little girl in Toronto, I saw myself as a big, huge dancer, and no matter what you could tell me, I always clung and hung on to that vision of myself as a performer. And that was the beginning of my faith. And that was the thread that always carried me through, because it was tough. I took a Greyhound bus to New York when I was 17. I was illegal. So there was a lot of uh, situation around me that was not necessarily evidence of the possibilities of me making it or me becoming and doing what I am today. So it was only faith that I clung to. I went to study at Alvin Ailey, which is one of the most prestigious dance schools in New York and very difficult to get in. I got in and I worked very hard and I had to waitress from like 11 at night to six in the morning. Then I would have to be in my ballet class at nine. I was in school from nine to four and then I would audition and do it all again. And uh, my first apartment, I slept on the floor with some rats. But through it all, God, God kept me. Through the most challenging times, I held on to my faith. I clung to what was being birthed inside of me. It was faith. Regardless of the challenges, it was my faith that reminded me who and what I was and whose I was. One particular time I was in school and uh, I didn't have enough money to pay for my foreign visa. And of course, being Canadian, they were gonna ship me back to Toronto and I was studying in New York. And I just refused to go home. And I remember going to the bathroom and I fell to my knees and I said, Lord, you brought me this far. I'm here, I cannot go back. I know that this is what I'm supposed to do. You have to do something. You have to do something right now. They were calling me to the office as I was in the bathroom on my knees praying. I remember walking down the stairs just like, Lord, you have to. I know it. Just walking in faith. And I got to the door and I remember saying, is Mrs. Swanson there? And they said, go to your class. She's just been fired. We'll take this up later. Go back to class now. All you kids, go back to class. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Did I run with rockets on my feet back to class? I was like, how did that happen? She got fired on the day she was about to send me back to Toronto. Not on his watch. But Faith had me walk down the stairs, face the situation, and trust that God would work it out. Not only did he work it out, Lord have mercy. He bought me six months and then I got my um, visa and I never had to go back. <laughs>